Hey, Fruity. Hi, Fruity. What you up to? Hey, Spice. What's up, girls? Hey, everybody. It's Raymond Powers down here in Florida, and I'm going to do a quick review of a chicken coop. This is the Hanover 986CC0104 RED, R E D, coop. And the coop is really great. It's just right for us. We didn't want to get in too big into chickens, and so we got a coop that was rated for, I think, four. I'm not really looking at the information on that right now. Um, four would be kind of crowded to me, too. It's just perfect. This is Florida. We loaded with uh, predators, both native and exotic. And I wasn't comfortable with just the bolt latches that the coop had. Uh, when it comes to raccoons, if a three-year-old human could figure it out, the raccoon could figure it out too. So I added these latches. I added these spring latches that lock. So I added one here, one there. This is what comes with the uh, hutch. I added one for the door up here. Here's the bolt latch that comes with it. I added another locking hook latch down here. So when they're hooked up, that door is not going anywhere. Um, these are two roosting sticks that inside the house fit into some uh, two notches. Uh, the only flaw in that is, it'd be easy to fix, is that the chickens tend to knock them out of those notches and then they're just askew in the morning. Um, just a little wood glue or something just to kind of permanently attach them or a little lever. My hands are dirty, it's biochar. I'm working today. Um, you know, it'd be an easy thing to fix. I just haven't bothered to fix it yet. So, well, right here you've got a tray that you can pull out to clean droppings. Girls, you're locked out. Okay. Two nest boxes back there. We'll look at those from a different angle. So I added this, this kind of dog leash clip, stainless steel. I added it because this is a, I've never seen a latch like this. Maybe it's probably just me. And it took us a while to figure it out, but we did. And then I didn't really trust it. Here's the nesting boxes. There's two of those. There's two perching bars. Got a nice run up into the hutch. This is our watering bucket. These are those waterers by rent -a -coop. I tried the yellow dongle kind and they just were not working for us. Those are awesome. Yes, you like it, don't you? All right, and that's it. And so we're really happy with this coop, especially the customer service. Like when we first put this together and took things out of the package, this section on the original top had a split that ran down the, you know, the whole length of it. So all it took was a phone call, a photograph, and a description, and boom, about three days later, I had a brand new hutch lid. So it's really good customer service. So we'll do a little walk around. Hey, spies. Hey, baby. You can go in there a little bit. Fruity. Fruity. Hey, come here. Hey, Fruity, what's up? These are sapphire gems. So the first thing we did before we even opened the box that the uh, coop came in was check the measurements. And then I built a four by four pressure treated wood timber frame that goes all the way around. There's a couple of pieces that go across. And then I hardware cloth, this is hardware cloth, but hardware cloth around under the bottom so that there's no way to, to dig in and up into the coops to keep predators out. This is Florida. We love wildlife on our 10 acres, but loving wildlife means some of that wildlife's chicken predators and we don't want them to eat our girls. After the hutch was assembled, I went around and used these little L-shaped brackets that I got from Home Depot to attach it to the heavy wooden frame. So it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna slide off. It's not gonna get blown off in a storm and predators just won't be able to get up in there. Yeah. So anyway, and of course, this we're almost done. Let's see if we can do this without anybody escaping. Oh, this is a scary thing. How are you gonna peck it? Don't peck my lens. There you go. Now 
I'm getting a phone call. And so this review of the Hanover Coupe is over, but it's a great product. It's affordable. It's just right for a small flock, really small flock. And uh, keep it in mind if you're shopping for a coupe. I love it. We love it.